Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to make a wonderful facial mask. This facial mask is very unique because I'm using two ingredients that are known to help your skin. Now one is going to lighten and brighten the skin and the other is going to tighten and tone the skin. It's going to boost the collagen production, meaning it's going to help to plump that skin up. It's going to lift that skin. It's going to tighten that skin while brightening that skin. This is loaded with antioxidant that is great for the skin. It's going to get rid of all the spots and blemishes and not only that this is gonna leave your skin pretty soft pretty supple and just radiant so if you're interested in this wonderful combination come with me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to whip this up I'm also going to show you how to use this wonderful facial mask and I'm also going to show you a live demonstration of how to use this wonderful facial mask our first ingredient is potato and potato is also called Irish potato in some countries. Now here are some benefits of the potato to the skin. Potato help to improve collagen health. It also help to exfoliate the skin, removing dead skin cells. Potato help to treat dry skin. Potato also help to lighten and brighten the skin. It removes sunburn. It also eliminate dark spot and also help to treat wrinkles and fine lines. Our next ingredient is the tomato and the benefits of using the tomato on the skin is that the tomato increase fairness. It helps to lighten and brighten the skin. It helps to balance that pH. It helps to tighten those pores. It treats sunburn. It reduces irritation and it also helps to cure acne. You can use tomato alone or you can use it with other ingredients such as as the potato. So here are the two ingredients that we're going to be using today to tighten that skin, to lift that skin, to get rid of spots and blemishes on the skin, basically to transform your skin into clear, bright, tight tone, radiant skin. So now let's prepare these two wonderful ingredients. Now here are some things you're going to need to prepare this remedy. You're going to need a blender, a grater and also a strainer. So I'm going to start by preparing the potato. To prepare the potato you want to wash the potato and peel the potato. Now that the potato is peeled the next step is to grate the potato. You can also choose to blend the potato however I prefer to grate. And here we have the grated potato and the next step is to extract the juice from the potato by straining. So to strain I'm just going to press on the potato like this. And here is the potato juice. So I'm going to put it aside to settle and I'm going to prepare the tomato. Now preparing the tomato is pretty easy since I'm going to be blending. So I'm going to chop the tomato in small pieces for easier blending. You can also choose to grate the tomato if you do not have a blender. So just chop the tomato. Now once you place the tomato in the blender, do not add any water to it. The tomato is going to produce its own liquid. Now here is our blended tomato and next we're going to strain just as we did with the potato. So here we have the two ingredients. We have our tomato juice and we also have our potato juice. So now we're going to put the two together. Now take a look very carefully at what I'm going to be doing. Now when it comes on to the potato juice, I'm only going to be using the starch from the potato. 
once you grate that potato and juice it you put it aside it's settled and what is going to happen the water from the potato is going to be on the top and the starch is going to settle at the bottom so if you lean it like this you will notice that there is starch at the bottom and that is what we're going to use so i'm going to slowly get rid of the juice from the top by skimming it off you can first start by pouring it or you can use a spoon and just slowly remove the liquid from top of the starch now we do not need a lot however if you planned on making a batch just double up on the potato so just slowly pour it off just pour it off and take a look at what we have left that is the potato starch and that is what we are going to be using so let's dig in the starch see that melt it somehow and it's going to form back as soon as you let it rest it's going to form so here it is very thick very creamy and this is about one tablespoon of potato starch moving on to our tomato juice and for our tomato juice i'm going to use one tablespoon of tomato juice so i'm just going to dig in one tablespoon of tomato juice one tablespoon of potato starch we're going to mix the two together so now our treatment is ready so i'm going to move over on the other side and i'm going to show you how to use this wonderful treatment on your skin for best results now here we have our remedy before you apply this however you need to cleanse the skin cleanse your skin using your regular facial cleanser i also recommend that you exfoliate the skin before you use this remedy so exfoliate the skin by using a simple as some brown sugar with some lemon you can also use some baking soda with some coconut oil just use an exfoliant and exfoliate the skin that way you are getting rid of all the dead skin cells the dirt the grease from your skin once your skin is cleaned it is ready for this treatment now I'm gonna use a brush to apply it now to show you how wonderful this treatment is I am gonna use it and just once side of my face so i'm going to apply the remedy on this side of the face and i'm going to leave this side off so i'm going to start by taking the brush and for this remedy you want to make sure to mix well since the starch is going to be settled at the bottom so you're going to dip in and you're going to just apply it to your face like this in upward strokes it's also great to get this as close as possible to the under eyes but do not let it get in your eyes since this treatment is great for dark under eye circles brush it on in upward strokes don't forget the neck and decollete area now take a look up close this is what it looks like after the application then after the application you want to sit with this for at least 30 minutes so i'm going to sit with this for 30 minutes as a matter of fact i'm going to come back in 15 minutes to show you what is happening and then i'm going to sit another 15 minutes and then i'm going to show you the result okay now i've been sitting with this for 15 minutes and take a look at my skin you could clearly see that the treatment is drying on the skin now how is my skin feeling my skin is feeling extremely tight like really really tight i can feel the tightness right on my cheekbones right here i can feel the tightness right on my laugh line right here i can also feel tightening on my jawline my forehead right around to my hair is feeling really really tight so i'm going to sit with this for another 15 minutes and then i'm going to be back with the result okay it has been 30 minutes since i'm wearing this facial mask and take a look for yourself and what is happening i'm still feeling tightening on the skin like really really tight just really tight 
and the mask has completely dried on the skin. See, totally dry. I'm just massaging it on the skin a little. Just massaging it a little. And this is what it looks like. So now I'm gonna rinse this off and I will be back with the final result. Now I'm back and take a look at my skin. This is the side I applied the treatment to. This is the side that I didn't. And take a look, untreated, slowly turn. Treated. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give the video a thumbs up, share the video, definitely leave your comments. And if this was your first time watching, look below, you're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.